Several Youngstown Council members are saying that due to the growing violence in the city, they would like to see the Youngstown mayor declare a citywide emergency. One or two deaths isn't acceptable at all. But when you get up into 10, 20, 30, it's a state of emergency. Absolutely something should be done. Some, people have to come together and come up with a plan to make it happen. Oliver pointed out other cities who have implemented similar declarations and how those cities have progressed, such as Milwaukee. It perks everybody's ears up to the problem. So the, it no longer becomes a south side issue or east side issue or north side issue, west side issue. It's a, it's a community issue. It's, it's about all of us. It's about Youngstown. Boardman, Camel, Austin Town, anybody that interacts or does business with the city or comes back and forth through the city. Council members in some other major cities are also pushing for the same, like Philadelphia, which continues to set records with its growing gun violence. In 2021, Philadelphia saw 497 fatal shootings. Youngstown saw 30. However, when you break down the math of the homicide rate per population ratio, Youngstown actually surpassed Philadelphia. Oliver says declaring a citywide emergency would allow for extra measures to be taken. He would like to see hospitals, universities, and organizations in and around Youngstown working together to tackle the issue of violence and poverty. Councilwoman Basha Adamzak holds a similar stance and would like to see a citywide emergency declared. We did reach out to Youngstown Mayor Tito Brown to find out his stance on the issue, but have not heard back. In Youngstown, Jennifer Rodriguez, WKBN 27 First News.